Legacy insurance carriers are continuing to lose the battle to the new guard of insurance carriers that are focused on technology distribution. I'm Will Shaw of Better Agency, and if you're an independent agent, I'm going to tell you why you need to be paying attention to this trend. William Blair, one of the leading and most trusted research firms, started tracking the new guard of insurance carriers back in 2019. What they classify as a new guard insurance carrier is a carrier that's been established in the last seven years and is focused on technology distribution either through brokers or direct to consumer. In their Q2 report, they break down how since 2019, these new guard insurance companies have gone from selling $125 billion in premium to now over $200 billion in premium. They also have gained their actual market share percentage in comparison to those of the old guard insurance carriers. Simply put, these new school insurance companies are writing more premium and taking more new business than their old school legacy carrier counterparts. Now, if I'm an independent agent, why does this matter to me? One thing is parity across the market. More insurance carriers are being created each year and new ones are coming into the US market from overseas. One reason why you should care is carrier parity. Having more insurance carriers coming into the market and new ones being started should help with better rates, better coverage, especially in markets where we're seeing more carriers leave. A second reason why is your legacy carriers are going to be falling behind their new guard competitors. They are gonna be focused on new premium collection and not as focused on renewals and other servicing to the agent because it's not revenue generating for them. Another reason why are these legacy insurance carriers are going to have to focus on issuing new premium. Think about it, they're falling behind their new guard counterparts and the only thing to keep up is to issue more and more new premium. So they are not focusing on getting off Internet Explorer or agency distribution or investing in technology to help empower agents more. They're focused on issuing more business any way that they can to stay alive. So if you thought the amount of commercials you see on TV from these insurance carriers is bad enough, it's only going to get worse as they continue to double down on what they know best. And the thing you are gonna care about the most and feel the most is when they start slashing commissions to reduce their expenses. Think about it. If you're a company that's losing market share and have decreasing revenue, the first place you're going to go is to your P&L statement and figure out your largest expense and you start cutting it. We know based off historically what carriers have done and what they're continuing to do today, which is cutting commission checks to their independent brokers. As an agent, there's a couple things to look at to make sure you don't fall behind, fall into this trap and stay ahead of the curve based off where the insurance carrier market is going. First, start establishing relationships with the new guard of insurance carriers. What's the new guard? Anybody that's investing in technology or has been created over the last seven years. Start partnering with those carriers. You're gonna find some better commission rates and you're also gonna find carriers that are better servicing their clientele when it comes to claims and service requests. A great place to find these carriers is actually on LinkedIn. They're heavily involved, they're socially oriented, and you can find them on social media, you can find them through other agents, and they're much easier to get an appointment with than your legacy counterparts. You should also start looking for technology partners that are directly aligned and even integrated with these carrier partners. You can start looking at your book of business to see who your clientele is insured with and start looking at opportunities to move them over to a new channel of distribution. My prediction is over the next three to five years is that these carriers are going to continue to lose market share, but also start to lose national relevance in the insurance market as we start moving away from national carrier brands and more directly into the hands of broker distribution. Better Agency is all about helping agencies achieve higher levels of agency success. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel to see videos like this released every week. And we will see you on next week's video.